This is National 5 Relationships Unit Assessment Practice and today we're looking at uh, the Assessment Standard 1.3. 1.3 covers questions 10, 11 and 12. There are seven marks that are on offer and you require four to successfully pass this unit here. Let's go ahead and start the question. So I've got question 10. I've got three questions. What you can do is freeze the video uh, when I do the first one and solve the, the others. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead. What I've got here is a quadratic um, expression or quadratic equation. It's set up with two brackets that's here. So I've got x minus 7 bracket x minus 8 equals 0. So from that, I know that either x minus 7 equals 0, x minus 8 equals 0, or both of them equals 0 to, to get that value there. But quite simply, what I'm doing here is I'm going to just uh, try to find the roots by solving the equation. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to make this equal to 0 and solve it. I'm going to make the second bracket equal to 0 and then solve that as well. Right from here, I can see that x minus 7 equals 0. So here, my first solution will be x equals 7. And here, I've got x minus 8 equals 0. So if x minus 8 equals 0, x equals 8. And that's the question complete. It is only a one mark question and we get one mark for getting both solutions that are here. So have a go and try the next uh, couple of questions that are on the, the slide there. Right, we've got x minus 1 and x plus 6 equals 0. So x minus 1 equals 0, so x is equal to 1. x plus 6 equals 0, so x is equal to minus 6, and that's the mark for that question. I've got x plus 2, and I've got x minus 4 equals 0, so x plus 2 equals 0, so x equals minus 2, and I've got x minus 4 equals 0, so x here equals 4, and that would just be the one mark for that uh, part of the question there. So that's question 10, just out of uh, one mark. What we're going to is we're going to question 11 and question 11 is asking us to solve these equations here using the quadratic formula. Now the quadratic formula will be given in your uh, formula list and what I've done is I've just started each question with the uh, quadratic formula there. Right, when we go and try and solve these, what I'm going to be doing is uh, if I've got them in that form with x squared, then the x values and then the numbers equal zero, then that's fine. Sometimes I have to change it around the question, the, uh, the, the, the question around, so I get it into that form so that I can then identify the values that I'm going to use in the quadratic formula. What I'm going to be looking at is the number that's in front of the x squared or the coefficient of x squared, and I'm going to call that a, and the a is equal to in this case one. So that's 1x squared. And here I'm going to look for a value b, and it's minus 5. That's in front of the x value there, the x's. And the number that's left will be my value for c. So c is equal to 2. Now what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to write down the quadratic formula. Then I'm going to substitute the values that I've got here just straight into the formula, and uh, that's where I'd be hoping to gather up my first mark. Right, let's go ahead. Right, so I've got minus b to start with on the top. So let's go for minus, minus 5. So I'll just put it in that way. Minus, minus 5. Then I've got plus or minus the square root. I've got b squared, which was minus 5. Squared. I'm going to take away from that 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 2. On the bottom, I've got 2a on the bottom, so it'll be 2 times so I'd be expecting to get one mark there for the substitution of that there. What I'll do now is I'll just uh, work through the question and just tidy some of the bits up. So I've got minus minus 5, so that's just going to make a positive 5. I'll have plus or minus the square root of, and what I'll do is I'll work this bit out. That's 25 minus 5 squared, and I'm going to subtract from that 8. That's all over 2. So that's it starting to simplify out from there. I've got 5 plus or minus... And now I've got the square root of 25, take away 8, gives me 17. All of that's divided by 2. From there what I can do is I can go two ways to try and find the two answers, because I've got a plus and a minus in here. So what I'll do is, first of all, I'll go for 
x is equal to 5 plus, so I'll just take the plus from there, and it's going to be the square root of 17 all over 2. And the other one that will work out will be x is equal to 5, and I'll use the minus the square root of 17. So the numbers remain the same, the only difference is when I split that, is I've got one's a positive and one's a, a negative taken away from that side there. Right, to work this through, I'll just go into my calculator and work out the square root of 17, or 5 plus the square root of 17. If I just do that on the calculator, I'll get uh, 9.123, and I've still to divide that by 2. So I've gone to three decimal places, and what I'll do is I'll just uh, finish my answer off, and I divide it by 2, to two decimal places. Okay. It's not asked me to, to do it to any certain number of decimal places, but I'll, I'll just go with 2 um, from here. This one here, I'll just work that out. So I can go back into the calculator, replace the plus with a minus, and what I should get on the top is 0 0.877. I have to divide that by 2, and what I'll get out there is 0 0.44 to two decimal places. So there's my two values for x, the values that have come out. So this question here is going to be worth uh, four marks. So the first mark I'll get will be for substituting incorrectly. If I substitute everything in properly there, I gain the first mark. The next mark that I'm going to get is for evaluating the discriminant. So that's the value that's inside here. So getting the 17 there. I'll get one mark for getting one of the solutions and for completing the solution, I'll get the other. So this question here is out of four marks. So if you can go ahead and try and finish the other two questions, um, that'll be four marks for, for each of them. Right, okay, I'll give you the solutions. Here we go. Right, so A is equal to four, B is equal to minus eight, C is equal to minus seven. I'll just substitute my values in. So I've got uh, minus minus 8 plus or minus the square root of minus 8 squared minus 4 times the a value, which is 4, times the c value, which is minus 7. That's all divided by 2 times the value for a, and this value here is 4. What I'll do is I'll then uh, tidy this up a bit. So what I've got is I've got 8 here. Plus or minus the square root of, this will be 64, if I square minus 8. And if I multiply this out, this is where we need to be a bit careful, because I've got a minus there and a minus there. That's going to give me a positive answer. And if I multiply that out, what I'll get is 112. And I'll divide that there by 8. Right, so from there... What we'll do is we'll evaluate the discriminant first of all. The discriminant is the, the bit there, the b squared minus 4ac that's underneath the uh, square root. And what that should work out to be will be 176. If I just add that up, and I'll finally divide that by 8. So at this stage here, similar to what I did here, I'm going to split it in two directions. Okay? So I've got x is equal to 8, plus or minus, so sorry, plus reason why I'm splitting it, and that's going to be 176 all over 8, and at this side here, I've got 8 minus the square root of 176, that's all divided by 8 as well. From here, when I work that out, if I work out the top, 8 plus the square root of 176, that should give me 21.266, I'll divide that by 8 and get my final answer. I'll just check that on the calculator. So I've got 8, and that's going to be plus the square root of 176. 21.266 divided by 8, and from there I should get a final answer of 2 point and a go for 66. 2.66 will be my first answer. Over here, I'm going to do the just replace the minus sign, uh, the positive sign by minus. And from there, I should be able to get x equal to minus 
6, 6, and that's all divided by 8. And from there, I'll get my second value. If I divide that by 8, and that should give me an answer of minus 0 0.66. And there's my two solutions. So from there, that's going to be four marks for that question there as well. Okay, and the final one, let's go ahead and do that one. So my A value is going to be equal to 6. B value minus 7. C value is going to be equal to 2. And if I substitute them in, I've got minus minus 7 plus or minus the square root of minus 7 squared, minus 4 times the A value times the C value. That's all divided by 2 times the A value. Right, so what we'll do is we'll work that through. So I've got 7 plus or minus square root of, and that's going to be 49, minus, that's going to be 48. I'm going to multiply that out. And it's all going to be divided by 12. What I have here is I've got 7 plus or minus, and that's just going to be the square root of 1 divided by 12. But what I can do is I can just work that out, because that's just plus or minus 1 all over 12. From there, I can split. So I'll get one value here. So x is going to be, I'll just write it out the way it is. So that's 7 plus 1 over 12. So x here is going to be equal to 8 over 12, which simplifies down to 2 over 3. So that's 2 thirds. If I look at the other direction, where I'll be looking at 7 minus 1 over 12, that will give me 6 all over 12, and then that would simplify out to be just a half. So that can be done. That's one that can be done without a calculator. So, um, so sometimes in your exam, that's the type of thing that you may have to do. Right, so, so that question there was out of four. Okay. What we'll do next is we'll, we'll look at uh, question 12. Okay, This is the last question in this uh, section here. What we have to do here is we have to determine the nature of the roots of the equations below, and we have to use the discriminant. Remember the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac, and there's three of the outcomes that we have uh, here. These are not given um, in, your, uh, in your formula list, so just be careful when you're doing these and try to memorise what they actually mean. So the first one here, if b squared minus 4ac, when I work that out, if it's a negative answer, there are no real roots. If b squared minus 4ac equals 0, the roots are equal. Or there's only one real root that's going to be in effect there. And b squared minus 4ac, if it's greater than 0, all that means is if it's a positive number, there are two real and distinct, meaning two real separate roots. And that's what you get when that works. So what we get for this question here, we're looking for two marks that would be um, involved in section 1.3 and one of the marks is going to be involved with uh, section 2.2 so I'll talk about that once we do the marking for this one right so remember I'm going to be using the discriminant which is b squared minus 4ac so I'm going to work out what my a value is a value is 1 because it's 1x squared my b value is minus 6 and my c value is 8 so what I want to do is I want to work out to find out what b squared minus 4ac is going to be equal to. So I can then make a statement. So what I'll do is I'll take the b squared, which is minus 6 squared, subtract 4 times a, which is 1, and c, which is 8, from it. I've got 36 here, minus 32, that gives me a value of 4. Now 4 is a positive number. So if 4 is positive, then it's going to fit into this part here because it's greater than 0. So b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. And I'll just make a statement to that effect. So since b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, what I'll then be saying is there are two real and distinct Roots. Okay, so that means that there's there's two solutions that I would look for uh, in this question that's here. For B, 
Freeze the video and try these ones for yourself. Here's the solutions. So A equals 1, B equals minus 6, C equals 10. So what I'm doing is I'm working out B squared minus 4AC. I want to know what the value is so that I can make uh, my final statement. I've got minus 6 squared, minus 4, A is 1, C is 10. So from here I've got 36 minus 40. So here I've got minus 4 as an answer. Minus 4 would be a negative number, so it's less than 0. So b squared minus 4ac equals, uh, sorry, is less than 0. So there are no real roots. That's the statement I'm going to make. So since b squared minus 4ac, it's less than 0. So what I'm going to say is, there are no real roots. Okay? And that's a statement that uh, I'd be expecting to be made there. The final question over here, work out your A value, which is 4, B value, which is minus 12, C value, which is 9, and we're going to evaluate B squared minus 4AC. So I've got minus 12 squared, minus 4, times 4, times the 9. Squaring out minus 12 will give me 144, and 4 times 4 times 9 will give me 144 as well. So I've got minus 144 there. That gives me a value of 0. So this one here fits into the, the middle category that's there. So b squared minus 4ac, when I've worked it through, I've got an answer of 0. So the roots are equal. So there's only one root that I'd be looking for here. So since b squared minus 4ac equals zero, what I'll say is there are equal roots. And that's that question complete. Right, the marking for this question here, so there's uh, there's one mark for the correct substitution. So the first value or mark that I'm going to get is for this one here, making sure that I've substituted correctly into b squared minus 4ac. I'll get one more mark for evaluating the discriminant. And remember, the discriminant is just b squared minus 4ac. So one mark for that one there. Right, so, so this mark here doesn't belong to the section that we're working in. That one there goes towards the section 2.2 because we're interpreting a result here. So this one here is out of one mark. And that one there is for section 2.2. But over here, I get two marks that goes towards section 1.3. A wee bit complicated, but um, I'll deal with the marking of it. So that's the, that's the section 1.3 completed. So remember, there's seven marks you're looking to uh, achieve. That's the full, full marks. And uh, four to achieve a pass. So good luck.